Vyacheslav, can you tell us how people are recovering from what they have experienced here? You know, we have really been through a lot of things that we never thought we would. Today and yesterday Chernihiv came alive. One can see that, especially those who have been here all the time. But still, given that communications are in a very critical condition, all services are now working on restoring them. I really ask residents of Chernihiv not to go back right away. That is, those who return are those who may resume critical infrastructure, and those who live and work in other cities will return. This is very important for today, because the city must first resume its electricity, water and heat supply channels. We saw the whole country saw your regular video appeals via social networks. This, of course, gives incentives to understand more adequately what is happening, not only in Chernihiv, but in the whole country, because you are president's representative here. How do you communicate with the head of the country now? There is a constant flow of communications. Nothing has changed, but it has become more intensive in wartime. Effective communication, and I think that he is very effective. One cannot praise one's leader, but I will not speak on behalf of the territorial community, but on my own behalf, not as the head of the regional state administration, but as Vyacheslav Chaos. I want to say that he is the coolest and the best president. And how are the local people? Do they share the militant spirit now? We are very lucky. We have operational command knows here. These are cool commanders, cool military units that have not allowed the Russian abomination not only to reach Kyiv, but have not allowed to enter Chernihiv, nor Nizhin, nor Priluki. In other words, they are cool military. We have patriotic people in the Chernihiv region and cool fantastic volunteers. These three factors, I believe, allowed the region to pass this ordeal at a very high morale and fighting spirit.